Hey, science explorers. Are you ready to go on a wild adventure inside your own body? Today, we're talking about something super important that you do all day, every day, even while you're sleeping. That's right. We're diving into the amazing world of the respiratory system. Now, before you say, wait, what's that? It's the system that helps you breathe. Yeah, like when you take in a deep breath after running around or smelling a fresh slice of pizza. So buckle up, take a deep breath in with me, and let's find out how the magic of breathing happens in your awesome body. Let's get started with the stars of the show, your lungs. But wait, before we jump in, here's a fun fact. Did you know your lungs are the only part of your body that can float on water? Yup, they're like little built-in floaties. So get ready to explore the amazing world of the respiratory system. Have you ever thought about how your body gets the oxygen it needs while you're running, playing, or even sitting in class? Today, we're going on a journey inside your body to discover something super important, the respiratory system. That's right, we're diving into the world of your lungs and learning how they work to keep you going every day. The main job of your respiratory system is to help you breathe, but it's more than just taking air in and out. Your lungs are responsible for grabbing the oxygen from the air you breathe in and sending it to every part of your body. Then they take out the carbon dioxide, what your body doesn't need, and sends it right back out. Pretty cool, right? Turn and talk to a friend for 20 seconds. Discuss what you think would happen if we couldn't breathe out carbon dioxide. Think about how important it is for our bodies to get rid of what we don't need. Your lungs work like inflatable balloons. When you take a deep breath in, your lungs fill up with air. And when you breathe out, the air gets pushed right back out. But there's a whole team of parts working together to make sure it happens smoothly. Meet your diaphragm, your personal breathing assistant. This dome-shaped muscle sits right under your lungs and moves up and down to help pull air into your lungs and push it back out. When your diaphragm tightens and moves down, it creates more space in your chest so your lungs can fill up. And when it relaxes and moves up, it helps push the air out. Teamwork! Fun fact, when you hiccup, it's actually your diaphragm acting up. Ever had hiccups during class? Blame it on your diaphragm. Let's meet the rest of the team helping your lungs do their job. First, when you breathe in, air enters through your nose and mouth. Your nose filters the air with tiny hairs called cilia and warms it up a bit. The air then passes through your pharynx, the back of your throat, and the larynx, which holds your vocal cords. Yup, 
the same spot that lets you sing and talk. Next, air travels down your trachea, also called your windpipe, on its way to your lungs. Your trachea is like the main highway for air. Along the way, the epiglottis makes sure food doesn't go down the wrong pipe. Inside your lungs, the trachea splits into two tubes called the bronchi, which lead to smaller tubes called bronchioles. It's like a tree with branches. And at the end of those bronchioles are tiny air sacs called alveoli. These little guys are super important because this is where the big job happens, swapping oxygen for carbon dioxide. Your alveoli are like tiny balloons and each one is surrounded by blood vessels. When you breathe in, oxygen goes into these sacs and then passes into your bloodstream where it travels all over your body. At the same time, carbon dioxide moves from your blood into the alveoli and then you breathe it out. It's like a big swap. Oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. Turn and talk. Take 30 seconds to discuss how your body uses oxygen once it's in the bloodstream. Why do you think every cell in your body needs it? Let's do a quick review to make sure we've got it all. We've got the lungs, which help you breathe, the diaphragm, your breathing muscle, air comes in through your nose or mouth, passes through your pharynx and larynx, and travels down your trachea. Then it moves through your bronchi, bronchioles, and finally, into the alveoli where oxygen enters your blood and carbon dioxide exits. Got it? Now let's finish with some cool facts. The lungs are huge. If you stretched out all the airways in your lungs, they would cover over 1,500 miles. The distance from New York City to Dallas, Texas. And there you have it, explorers. Now you know all about your amazing respiratory system and how it keeps you going every day. Next time you're running around the city, remember how hard your lungs are working for you. Don't forget to breathe. And I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA. For more, it's easy with Twinkle videos.